All right, let's talk about this fucking thing. Oh, it's technically a these. Come on, glove. Come on. Is this thing working? Am I recording actually? Yep, it's recording. The sound's gonna be horrible. I don't have a microphone. I'm not a blogger or a vlogger or whatever. Okay, so these are supposed to be army style boots. The Magnum Uniform Ultima 8.0 SZWP Ultimate Fast and Light High Leg SZ Boot. Waterproof, YKK side, side zipper, breathable material, suck absorption, vegan, that's important, and recycled upper, whatever that means. They are fucking horrible, like, it's the second worst choice I, I made in the last two years. Worthless pieces of shit. I didn't check the price. It, they currently go for probably like 130, 140 euros. So, you know, for Eastern European prices, that's relatively high. You know, well, not for good boots, boots, but if you're if you're gonna buy footwear, you know, they're kind of expensive for non-luxury items. So. I bought these four months ago. I worn them about 60 times. So, 60 days essentially. I don't do hard work, by the way. Like, I mostly walk and sit. So, these shouldn't have problems. Not the problems they have. So, holy fuck. Come on, come on. Well, it won't happen. Zippers busted. It got busted about a month in, so that was fun. Um, what else about those fucking things? The laces are, are worthless. I wouldn't wish them on my enemy, but they're you know they're just for show essentially. Um, in the way the shoe is shaped and uh, constructed, they're practically pointless. Might as well have rubber bands here. So, zippers busted, the supposedly YKK zipper, it says YKK here, but I don't really want to believe it. Let's see, if I do this, it's already up and all over the place. Worthless, worthless, worthless. Is this a, this is a hole. This is a fucking hole. No, look at these treads, just to make a point here. If you wear boots, you know how little these uh, these shoes have been worn. They're they're essentially new, and they suck. Uh, what else? What else do I hate about these damn things? Uh, Gore-Tex. I hate Gore-Tex. It's supposed to be breathable, but pieces of plastic. What else is in there? Something alive, probably? No. Over here? No. Well, oh, is there something more here? Huh. Insoles. Not their own insoles, by the way. Their own insoles were fucking worthless. No, no, they weren't fucking worthless. Let's be realistic. Worthless would be good. Worthless would be good, because worthless means, you know, you throw them out, you replace them immediately. Like, if they're one millimeter, um, you know, foam thing that doesn't actually do anything, well, you know what the, what it is. It's a cheap thing to say, you know, we put some insole in, inside, but you're probably professional of some kind, some kind of forces or whatever, so you'll buy your own. You already have your favorite insoles. Well, the insoles they had were relatively comfortable, I must admit. 
but they also smelled like a rat died in my shoes uh, after the first time I wore I wore the thing. So out they go. Let's see inside. It, it looks nice. You haven't worn them worn them at all. At all. <sighs> Was I talking about Gore-Tex? Yeah, uh, the supposedly amazing, beautiful, but somehow waterproof membrane. It's either one or the, or the other. I'll never accept that um, Gore-Tex is supposed to be breathable. <laughs> Didn't work well for me. Did not go well at all. So I tried my own insoles after I washed my shoes. So just to make sure that I gave them, I gave them a fair chance. Uh, I'm probably the idiot here, right? Not like some company that actually makes those things. They fucking... Oh god. I, I get very mad and since I'm not a native English speaker I have to think properly to speak English and I get so fucking mad I can barely talk because that's a lot of money for me. 140 euros at the time was a quarter of my monthly wages. Not a cheap thing. Not a cheap thing. It, they're more expensive than my favorite boots that I ever worn. Hmm. So yeah, they they will they can and will smell immediately, and they'll never pro properly dry out. You know, all this padding, yeah, that's not going to happen unless you have some uh, shoe dryer or something which would probably ruin Gort the Gore-Tex membrane, so might as well not put it in. But that's not my bigger gripe. Not the smell, not the fucking zipper that went out in the first month I ha I've had them. I showed you this treading before. Let me just do this. Maybe it'll show better in the camera. I should wash them. Maybe it would look better. You know, looks like a reasonable tread. You know, not very on the slip, on the slip, but you're looking at it. You don't expect that you'd be, you know, hydroplaning essentially in a puddle. I was, I was very, well, I was a bit disappointed almost immediately, but at least they didn't need breaking in, which was important for me at the time. I didn't have time to break in, you know, good leather boots. I bought these boots because I had to wear them right fucking now. Like, maybe I'll even... I, I was ready to leave the store wearing these boots, which I didn't, which was probably a good thing. When I got really mad was when I wore them for the first, first time during rain and I slipped. Now I have a heavy gait, so I, you know, I walk hard for the rest of the non-English speakers. I walk, I walk hard. Um, you know, I'm used to stable boots that will hold my foot and, you know, they won't slip. If there is no serious amount of oil or mud to the point that I'm not actually making contact with the pavement or the road, I never slipped um, with any other boot I've worn. Those things slipped on wet pavement. Not muddy pavement, pavement. Not, ju you know, ju it's just rained and stuff are making it even more slippery. No. This pavement was clean, just wet. And I almost fell down. Like, I managed to grab um, a storefront, uh, you know, like chain link fence essentially. So I grabbed that, fucked up my hand for a while, um, and I survived. And I thought, oh, yeah, I probably, there was probably something I can't see right now. Because those those were new fucking boots. No, they suck. 
Have you ever worn a shoe and were was fr- afraid to walk in it? That's it. That's the thing. I would never fucking suggest it to anyone, except if I wanted them dead. Then I would probably give them give them to somebody, you know, during autumn to catch the winter rain. That would be great. Um, straight down. What else do I have to say about these horrible shoes? They fucking tore! Like, those aren't cheap all-star sneakers. Those were well, almost triple the, triple the price. Might as well have worn slippers. No, oh, I'm... I'm not Rose Anvil, as you can tell. But I would like to give this thing a try. Those are already untied. Is this the thing still rolling? Hopefully it is. 11 fucking minutes. Great. Let's hope my camera doesn't overheat. I'm not used to, do, to recording videos. So I'll try to hurry, to hurry because this thing will overheat. I've seen it happen. Uh, my girlfriend tried to use it and yeah. I'll probably just fast forward this or just let you watch me torture myself just to fucking cut those things apart and see what's up with it. Come on. I should probably just cut the, the laces, but I'm invested now. Come on. That almost hit the camera, I think. Now, these boots are generally marketed as I've seen to forces. I'll just say it like that. You know, army, police. You know, people that are, are supposed to be able to trust their footwear. I wouldn't trust this with anything. Do I have a bigger knife here? I swear I had my Leatherman somewhere in this chaos. I actually had, had it in those gloves. These gloves. The fuck? Oh, here it is. Let's see how fast the Leatherman will fuck them up. I'm so happy to, to be destroying them, actually. <laughs> Almost a little giddy because, holy fuck! Wearing them was torture. The only way, the only reason I didn't throw them, throw them away almost immediately because, was because they were so horrible that I wanted to make this video because I didn't find any reviews on YouTube and I trusted the fucking salesman. That won't happen. Although the best boots of my life didn't have any reviews either, so I'll probably try and make one just so other people will be able to, you know, be informed before they make any mistakes. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Please let you don't stab yourself like an idiot. Saying something about the soul or the sheath of my blade. Probably the sheath of my blade. Considering how horrible this is. If I do this. Mm, no, not really. I'll try to follow this in line, but I suck at this. This is 
one of the reasons I wear gloves, because I'm an idiot. Come on, you fuck. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's gonna come, come out all fucked if I ever manage to do this. How sharp are, are Rose Angle's two tools? Like, they must be amazing. Or, again, my blade. I can see it's in quite horrible shape. Maybe it needs sharpening. Are we making headway? Kinda. I'm just fucking everything up. Well, maybe if I start from the front and awaken it a bit. It's cutting it, but the rubber uh, it's making, you know, it's causing friction. But I can't apply less pressure. This is actually melting. Yep, the blade's hot. One part of the construction is good. Congratulations, Magnum, or whoever owns the trademark. Managed to make a salt that is hard to cut. I bet you're proud. Come on. Yeah. I'm not even gonna fast forward this and just gonna let you watch me. I'm just gonna let you watch me torture myself. That's that a bad that's a bad job. That's a bad job. But we're almost there. Almost fucking there. Come on. Is there something harder in here, or is it, is it just getting tighter? Yeah, there's probably something hard in the salt, in the heel of the salt. Oh no! So it's fat. Great. Let's see what's in here. So glued lining with. The Gore-Tex. Yeah, just. You know, this is this some kind of fabric lining, really thin. Then there is some fluffy lining. And you know, to let mold grow in on the Gore-Tex thing, membrane stuck, the glued inner cell. Heel support, nice and strong. Honestly, you know, that's that wasn't my problem, weirdly. Um, padding, 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 which is foam, synthetic foam. Yeah, 
you can make something something vegan, but it would it'll kill more animals than if you just made it leather. Um, and then the other saw, it's actually two pieces, pieces, one softer one, which actually does a good job in absorbing, uh, you know, um, force when you walk. And is that about two, three millimeters at the thickest point of harder rubber? You know, for the anti-slip stuff and uh, anti-puncture stuff, you know, all the stuff that doesn't actually work. More support at the front. I hope I can I hope you can see it. Is there anything interesting in this side? Nope. Same old. Synthetic foam to get your you know to get wet from your feet and then stuff will grow in it. Thin lining that is not consistent. Why is there no thin lining here? I wonder. Eh. The mold ate it. Probably not. What else can I say about this piece of shit? Not much. Honestly. I mainly cut it up, cut it apart because I wanted it. I wanted to see destroyed. Maybe I'll cut this apart off camera or, or set it on fire. 